Hi there, my name is Krista and I am an Academic Enrollment Advisor for the Liberal Arts and Business Division. And I am here to tell you to download the Aviso app, which is the way we communicate with our students and our faculty. Hello, my name is Noah Edmiston. I'm a second year student, almost graduating, and I am the treasurer of the Drone Club. Uh, we meet every Wednesdays, five to six, either at the landings or in building D. And I uh, you know, can't wait for more people to join so we can fly. <laughs> Hi, I'm Corinne Mitchell. I'm one of the therapists at Terra State. Um, we are here to provide counseling services to students and staff if they want it. Uh, we have three therapists oh, yeah. here, myself, Diana Grant Warns, and Kira Rodriguez. And I'm here on Mondays from 10 to 3. And Diana is here from 11 to 3 on Wednesdays, and Kira is here from 1 to 5 on Thursdays. Those hours can change as the need increases. Um, the counseling is free, and it is by appointment. Um, but if the doors open and there's nobody in there, the people can stop by have a chat, make an appointment if they want to. Um, and we are actually, um, we're able to counsel on all kinds of diverse subjects. So whatever your mental health need may be, I'm sure that we have a therapist here to meet that for you. Hi, I am Jill Caton. I'm the coordinator for the Health Information Technology and Medical Coding Certificate Program. I'm Amy Anway. I'm an Associate Professor for Health Information Technology and I'm also Coordinator for the Healthcare Administration Program. And what we do in our programs is we do more behind the scenes working in healthcare. So if you like healthcare, it's a great opportunity. Um, but we do more working with electronic health records, with medical coding, data analytics, and different things. Um, it's a nice degree because it combines finance, it combines business and healthcare and a lot of different aspects of different degrees all into one. Um, and then if you just like the coding side of things, we do have a coding certificate that just strictly focuses more on the coding and billing side of things. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in working in healthcare, but you really don't want direct patient care, this could be a perfect field of study for you. Hi, I'm Emily Keel. I am the assistant at the landings at Terra Village. We have four different uh, apartment styles that you can check out on the main website page of Terra. And we are also recruiting for RAs for next semester and the application will be online as well. Hi, so my name is Lee and I am the president of the student organization known as Proud Terra. We are a primarily LGBT centric organization dealing with the issues of gender dysphoria, sexual orientation, discovery, as well as support and um, just kind of like a general checking in with the student body that are in that marginalized community. Hi guys, my name is Nazari Dismuk. I'm the president of Multicultural Student Union. Hi, I'm Janisha. I'm the vice president of a Multicultural Student Union. Um, this semester we really haven't did much because of COVID, but we did like a little Black History kind of event where we just like said who like class history was about and like we did a crossword puzzle. Um, actually, I think we're doing a movie after spring break, the Selma movie event. So you have to check that out. Um, trying to do more events, but it's gonna be more virtual. We're really not meeting right now because of COVID. <laughs> Hi, I'm Natalia and we are Terra State Christian Fellowship and we're interested in having open conversations about Jesus and spirituality. Um, and we're an organization for students, faculty, and staff. We have Bible studies, and we're hoping to start a prayer meeting soon, too. Um, so if you're interested, you can contact Matt. My name is Rita Keffer. I'm uh, associated with Tiffin Alumni Chapter of Alpha Iota, along with Beth Buchel Kiesel. We're uh, secretary and treasurer of our chapter. I'm also past international president of Alpha Iota Sorority, and we'd love to start a chapter here. Uh, we're an international business sorority, honorary business, but we now, like all associations, instead of business, we promote civil uh, community service, uh, helping out with donations. We have different, um, uh, different organizations we work with to help them out. I see, so we, uh, for professional development, education personally, and personal growth, leadership. Fellowship is very important. 
Hi, I'm Jamie. I am a health educator at Sandusky County Public Health. Uh, we're here today talking about safe alcohol use. Think before you drink. So we were talking about what's in a standard drink of alcohol, which is actually a 12 ounce beer, a five ounce glass of wine, or um, a shot. Uh, that's a standard drink. So we were talking about that. We also have information on social hosting laws, uh, medication take back. So these are different locations where medication can be dropped off. We also have these deterra bags. These are medication disposal bags. So if someone can't get to the take it to the box locations, they can actually open this, put in their medication, fill it with water, seal it, shake it. It deactivates the medication and they can throw it in the garbage. We also have um, information on tobacco cessation. The the other program we have is the Save a Life program. So this is a Narcan program. So we will have them go to an online training at scpublichealth.com slash save a life. They will go uh, complete the online training and we mail them Narcan for free. Hi, I'm Montana. This is Alyssa. We're in the SNA and to be a part of this, you just gotta be an SNA or a nursing student. And we do a lot of community service and help out the community around us.